Hey, Joey Kasimi here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the process that I go through with my keyword research and market research. And I'm going to be showing you this with this cool little tool called Market Samurai. Very cool little tool, very powerful, and ever since someone told me about it, I got it, and it's been like the best thing ever. Now, guys, really quick before I proceed, I just want to let you know that this is not a sales pitch of any kind. I'm not trying to sell you on this Market Samurai thing or nothing. I'm just saying simply letting you guys know how I do my keyword research and market research and the tools that I use to accomplish this okay market samurai is a, a really simple tool that allows me to really do this at a lot faster pace whereas if I were to go outside and, and use tools like the Google search engine Google keywords and, and like 10 other tools you know it will take me a lot longer to do this and um, and the video would you know take really really long and I don't want to do that but anyways this is how I do it and I'm here to show you exactly how I do this alright so with that said you can ease your mind and focus on the actual content and tutorial so let's go ahead and proceed alright um, I'm gonna be using this cool little tool here called market samurai to do some keyword research uh, and some market research now in the last post that I wrote on finding profitable niches I wrote about ways and techniques that I use to finding and gathering niche ideas and if you haven't been following the niche site challenge series this is just a simple challenge that I did to myself to go out there and find and create a profitable niche and I decided to go ahead and share this with you guys so you guys can see every step of the way and how I do it and, and how I go about finding a niche creating the site and making it profitable and hopefully you guys can also get inspired to do this on your own because really it's not that difficult the hard part is done at the beginning after that in my opinion is a piece of cake all right so hopefully you guys can go ahead and join me on this many have already I'm really stoked about this and let's see if we could together find a nice little niche to go after and try to you know make that profitable so we could all make some money together okay so now that I've gathered all of my niche ideas and I created my top five that I want to go ahead and, and, and research on, I'm going to go in here into my cool little uh, keyword tool or market samurai tool and I'm going to put my keyword that I chose which is domino table and let me explain what I'm doing here guys all right now in my list uh, one of my passions is woodwork okay another passion of mine is dominoes I love to play dominoes well another thing that I love to do is I love to build domino tables in in the Hispanic culture especially in the in the holidays people uh, go out there and look for domino tables custom domino tables and some even go out there and search on how to create their own domino tables so they could give it out as gifts or so they could have something to play with when they do their family gatherings so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and put two together you know woodworking dominoes and building a domino table so let's just go ahead and see what we got I will go ahead and put it in there and then I go ahead and create or click on the create button now you have so many stuff here to choose from guys I don't do all of them a lot of people start off with this keyword research but I actually like starting off with uh, the SEO competition so I could see what I'm up against so I just go ahead and click on that click on generate results and what this is doing is giving me a list of the top 10 sites on Google that uh, that are potentially my competition right all right so it's done gathering all the information I need and what I'm looking for here is to see if there's a lot of red and a lot of yellows because if there is actually a lot of red and yellows I really don't want to go after this niche because it's it's quite competitive but at the same time what I'm looking for is to see who is in the red like for example right here you see this here amazon.com okay you see down here uh, eBay all right uh, I don't see any YouTube channels but sometimes there's YouTube channels there now if you see sites like that that are in red from my research I found that those sites are actually easy to beat out really easy so what I want to find is uh, is actual sites actual websites of other people out there that are you know do, trying to do the same thing that I am or, or whatever so uh, right here what I'm seeing is dominotables.net 
okay? Uh, he has a few reds in there, but I'm comfortable with it because it's not really high. Um, I see here El, Cu El Cubanito Domino. I'm familiar with that website, but again, he doesn't get much of anything here, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, Capicu01.com, that's another one I'm familiar with. Again, I think this is a pretty good one, so this is why I decided to go after this niche. The other keywords that I, I did research on, there was too many reds. As you can see, there's a lot of green here, so I'm very, very happy with it. So let's go ahead. If I'm comfortable with this, I'm just going to go ahead and go on keyword research. Now, right here, guys, what I like to do here is go ahead and click on phrase length, and I want a minimum of two phrases. All right, and go ahead and click on generate. Now, guys, I don't want to go too fast. I'm really not trying to go too fast here. But uh, I really don't want to spend a lot of time on, you know, explaining all these little details here uh, because there's a lot to it and I really don't want to take too much of your time. So uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, try not to go too fast, but also not too slow. So we'll wait here till uh, Marcus Samurai finishes uh, fetching the the keywords. And what I'm looking here is for potential keywords that... Uh, that uh, can relate to that main keyword here, Domino Table. Uh, this is a list that came up with 124 of related keywords that can go uh, that could go with that Domino Table. So right here, I see air hockey tables like that right there. Uh, that has nothing to do with Domino Table. So some pretty cool stuff here that uh, this tool does is I could actually take out anything that has hockey, anything that has air. And press a little X button. You see, um, AJ. I don't need. Any, I don't need anything on that. Exit out. Buy. I definitely don't want anything that has to do with buy right now. C table. So you guys get the idea, right? I could actually narrow things down to what I want uh, to actually research on. Okay. So, anyways, let's go ahead and proceed here and uh, go ahead and analyze these keywords. Okay, now guys, this is the actual settings that I have here. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn these off here, turn this off so I can show you in depth what I'm looking for. Okay, turn that off. And these are the actual uh, settings that I use when I'm first analyzing keywords. So I go ahead and analyze the keywords and it's going to give me some more uh, detailed information. Like right here, it'll give me some uh, really detailed information on search engine competition. Uh, over here where you see this little colorful ball going SEOV that's the search engine volume how much uh, potentially it can make me on a, on a daily basis okay so this may take a little bit here maybe a few minutes or so uh, but while it gathers all the information and it all depends on the keywords that you're analyzing like right here I have quite a few 118 and what I like to do, generally do, is actually narrow it down to like anywhere from 50 to 80 keywords. So I won't have to, you know, uh, wait that long. But um, we'll go ahead and wait here. And there it goes. It's, it's, okay, 33%. So it's going there quite quick there. So maybe we won't have to wait that long. If it does, we'll go ahead and pause it for a little bit and proceed. Okay, so now this is done gathering all the numbers. So let me go ahead and show you what I look for. Now, right here, you see the search engine optimization traffic. What this is, is the amount of potential clicks that you can get to your niche site if you're in the first spot of Google, the number one spot. Now, right here, the search engine optimization competition, this is the amount of competing websites that are out there. Now, I don't want you to be afraid of this amount here. I mean, you see like 11.9 million, 2.3, 2.4. 4 here because this is not the actual amount of websites that are competing for your keyword term or your search term right okay because some of those websites are actually just may have the word round in there others may have tables and some may have both what I look for is the amount of phrase to broad ratio the percentage of people actually searching for that term and in this case it's seven percent okay and over here on this side, the search engine optimization value, this is uh, uh, the total number of potential uh, amount of money that you could make uh, for that keyword there, okay? <clears throat> so what I like to do is narrow this down even further to do some more research. So, because as you can see here, 
like some uh, search engine traffic here. You got some that have zero, one. Okay, you don't want any of those. Okay, so what I like to do is actually go down here where it says SEO traffic, and I like to put it to 30. All right. And then I like to go ahead and go down here to also minimize the amount of search engine uh, competition. I like to go ahead in here and put like uh, 60,000, all right, to start with. I go up and down all the time, depending, all right? So right here, you can see it narrowed it down to 13 active keywords that I could go for, all right? So let's just go ahead and, 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 and you know evaluate some of these numbers here, okay? So you can see here, Domino table, the actual keyword that uh, we're going after, has a pretty decent amount of traffic. I mean, 137 clicks per day, that's pretty decent, especially when it's free. 24% of the people, 24% out of 68,000 competing websites out there, look at that. See, 24% of people actually search the term Domino table, all right? And if I was in the first spot of Google, I could potentially make 259 bucks per day, $260 per day, that's not bad at all, okay? Now, if that's not a job replacer right there, <laughs> I don't know what is. So let's go down and do some more here, Domino's Tables, okay? Now, that one actually has some pretty good decent numbers. It has 112 potential clicks. Now, only 3% of the people actually search for that term, but look at the search, uh, or the search engine competition out there. There's not many websites. So that's telling me that those are super, super, this is what I call a super, super duper targeted keyword here. Because not, not many people are actually searching for it, only 3%, but those who do have a potential of making you 253 bucks per day. So that's actually some pretty good stuff. And I promise you this, that keyword there, you can you can rank up pretty high up in the search engines. I mean, it's not all about trying to get the number one spot. It's all about getting on the first page of Google. Number one spot, you know, it'd be great. But there's potential there for some money. Let's look at some more. Tuscany table. I'm not going too crazy up over that. I could, you know, go into further search. But really, uh, right now, I'm not uh, concentrating on that. So... Um, anyways, you know, you, you could go ahead and you could see the, you could get the idea of what I'm doing here, right? So if I find some potential keywords that I actually want to go after, like this one, Domino's, I could actually go ahead and click on this little key here, all right? And right up here, you'll see that uh, it brings out a whole new tab, and I could go in there and do some more search or some more keyword research uh, for that term, Domino's. Uh, Domino's sets and I'll go ahead and, and do the same thing SEO competition do some keywords so I could find uh, some related keywords to that specific niche there or that specific keyword phrase um, I click something by accident here but let's go back to this here uh, Domino's tables that's the one I actually wanted to hit Domino's sets by accident but that's the one that I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and do some more stuff now um, once I find a set of keywords and I'm happy with it, I'd like to go ahead and find maybe three, five, maybe ten different keywords. I don't like to go overboard. I don't like to create get hundreds and hundreds. Really, there's no point to it. Um, a good three to five sets are good. You know, maybe even seven. Okay, actually for this term, I'm actually going to try to find seven good keywords because what I'm going to try to do here, guys, and this is another tip, each keyword here is a potential topic to write about. And then I'll go into more details on that when we get to that section of creating and writing content. But these keyword terms are actually potential topics that you could actually write about in your in your in your sites. Okay, so to give some really good quality, high relevant, unique uh, content, and that's what Google loves in all the search engines. So, anyways, once I find a set of niches and set of or niches or set of uh, keywords, what I like to do is actually try to find. Let's go back to the main keyword, Domino Table. Go into domains. And I'm going to keep this one short because we're running kind of long here. But I actually got to go here and search for that main. Or I should go to domain. Domino table. And I like to go ahead and click on find domains. What it's doing here is finding relevant domains, some keyword rich domains that I could 
that I could purchase if it's available okay and you'll see right here is pretty quick retrieving result, search results and a whole bunch of nominotable.org, edominotable.com, edominotable.org, okay, a lot of them. Now, guys, me, my preference, I don't like to use anything other than .com or .net. So I like to go ahead and narrow this down, take this out, use settings, go ahead and find some more. So it could give me only those. And then I go from there and uh, gives me a bunch of .nets and .coms that I could potentially use, okay? Now, finding a keyword rich uh, domain, uh, yes, it can help you as far as ranking in Google and in the search engines, but it is not necessary. It's really more of a myth because I have my domain, joeycassimi.com, and it's, it ranks pretty high on pretty much for any keyword that I choose to target because the site itself, the domain itself, it's aged and it's an authority site. So if you can't find a domain with a keyword rich domain, don't worry about it, okay? You can pick something close to it. This, this is more true to micro niche sites. If you're doing a micro niche site with only two or three contents in there, uh, pages of content with, with only like one or two different products in there, then yes, I would suggest you finding a keyword rich domain. But if you're going for anything of a passion type of niche or a branded niche, then any niche uh, or any domain would be suitable for it but uh, this is actually how I do it guys this is actually how I go about doing my keyword and market research and what I do is well let me go ahead and go to keyword real quick but what I do is first start off with the main keyword that I want to go after in this case is domino tables and then I analyze all the keywords that it, that's related to it so I can find some other potential keywords to go after, some other profitable money-making keywords, what they call a, a money keyword, right? A money-making keyword. Because not all the time the main keyword, right, is going to be good for you, all right? In this case, Domino Table is, okay? It's got a really good amount of cl potential clicks that I could get on a daily basis. It's got a good percentage of people that are actually searching for that term, Domino Table, and the competition is not that high. So if you could just analyze your results here and really go, go deep into the research and, and the core of it, what people are actually searching for, you will see some, uh, you will find other keywords and other potential markets that you're like, wow, this this is this is gonna make some money. I mean, I, I could see some keywords here that I didn't even think about, but Domino's tables, I did not know that could be potentially profitable. So, you know, find a keyword, research it, analyze it, then dig in some more, find some other keywords, and then go and research those keywords. Find yourself anywhere from three to seven you know three five or seven keywords to go after and once you find them you know there you have it you got your keywords you got your profitable money making keywords and then we could proceed into actually building the website building a niche site creating some content which i'll go over more in detail in other posts in the niche challenge or niche site challenge series and in other videos okay so with that said, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I hope you find it very useful, and, and I hope you go out there and kick some butt with it, okay? So with that said, Joey Kissimmee, peace. I love it for free, and I'll see you in the next video.